During July 2023, with Corinne having flown back to Scotland from Amsterdam, I flew back to Nice, picked up Blondie and set off to collect Dylan and Mark from Biarritz Airport. We then headed for saint jean de Luz for this summer surfing holiday. Although we were based in saint jean de Luz, we found ourselves heading back to Hondi most days. <laughs> Let's do it! After setting up camp, we made a beeline for the local board rider's store, which was only about a mile from our campsite. I was in the market for a board and managed to pick up a quite beautiful new mistress. She's a nine foot long board from the UWL shapers who are based in La Rochelle. I also got a new wetsuit as I couldn't find my shorty. We had a mixture of weather again this year with a few overcast days and a few sunny days. The surf forecast was for smallish waves and mostly onshore winds. This year we set up camp at the Camping Merco La Cara campsite just north of saint jean de Luz. This is a great wee campsite run by some lovely people. It sits between the beaches of Sinix to the north and La Fetenia to the south and there are a few wee bars and restaurants within a few hundred metres of the site. This was our favourite surf spot for the week just in front of the Honda Casino. The waves weren't great, rather small, but there were the occasional few coming through, both rights and lefts, where you could make a couple of sections, and it's always just great fun to get in the water. It was a popular spot, and while there were always quite a few people in the water, there were plenty of waves to be had, and the vibe was very friendly. The water temperature was lovely, but I do think that this woman was a little underdressed for her swim. For the first couple of days I used the Insta 360X3 camera for much of the footage here, but unfortunately it had fallen when we were in Slovenia and started letting in water, so I had to revert to my GoPro. We managed to get in for a few late evening sessions where the surf blast off a little and we saw some lovely sunsets. Hello! Day number three at Hondi. Lovely wee spot to surf at. Surf's a bit small, onshore, but it's kind of mid tide so it should pick up in a wee bit. I was really happy with my new board that caught most of the waves that I pointed at and I'm looking forward to getting it into some bigger waves. It seemed to be a bit faster than my Mini Mal and paddled well. It was nice to be able to surf with bare feet as opposed to wetsuit boots as I think you feel the board a lot better without them. We're back out at Hyundai. 
a couple of beers, went kind of tasty, came come up a little bit, see if the stuff gets a little bit better. Looking quite good, pretty small, but definitely still a bit of stuff. Happy days. <laughs> It was quite disappointing that I couldn't get the drone up in either Biarritz or Bondi due to the close proximity of the airports. It was quite incredible to watch every time a plane came in to land at San Sebastian Airport. They seemed to just clear the buildings in front of the runway and no more. Wow! That's bonkers! Surfing always chills me out, but I find that there's nothing quite like being out in the water for an evening session with your mates and watching the sun go down. Doing a holiday again, Tuesday night, about 9 o'clock, kind of glass off session, quite small but we'll go in and have a wee paddle. What did you do? Why can't we land here? <laughs> Dylan's about the last man in the water. Right. Saying Dylan's about the last man in the water. Oh, is that way, man? Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, Dylan. That's what you wanted. Right. After a few days, Amelie, the French student who we met down here last year, joined us. It was nice to see her again, and following her time in the Reunion Isles, she spent some time catching up with friends and colleagues she had made last year and coming surfing with us. This was a close one where Mark wiped out pretty close to me and his board nearly got me. Oh, 
Oh, this one isn't going to happen. And neither is this one. <laughs> Ali used my 7 foot soft top board. It was over a foot longer than our board from last year, but they seemed to go on famously and she surfed it very well. I remember this wave well, taking the drop on one foot and making the wave. I was quite happy with myself and it made me laugh. As always, in between surf sessions we enjoyed a few games of table tennis. I was on course for an undefeated week and would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for that pesky kid Dylan, who beat me twice in the last day. In my defence, I made the excuse about being very windy that day. On Bastille Day we headed up to Bida, as the surf was very small at Hondi. It wasn't any better at Bida, but it was a lovely wee place. We stopped for a beer and there was a very good band rehearsing for the evening's festivities. They sounded excellent, so we decided to return there that night to listen to them. After a memorable bus journey with a bus driver who was having a nightmare of a first day, we had a great evening listening to the band, having a few beers, and we got to witness a quite spectacular lightning storm which totally eclipsed the organised fireworks display. We also caught a train across the border to San Sebastian. It's a quite beautiful wee place and we had some fantastic tapas and pinchos which proved excellent value at less than 70 euros for the four of us including drinks. For dessert we had some lovely ice cream but it was such a hot day it was a bit of a race to eat it before the sun melted it. What's up? After Amelie left, I dropped Dylan and Mark off at the airport and set off north to a campsite called Le Pan Parasol in the Le Sable Dolon area, where I met up with Craig Davidson and his family, Deborah, Harris and Elliot. This was a lovely campsite around 10 miles from the coast. We're heading out for a wee surfing session with Craig and Elliot. Conditions aren't great, a bit stormy, but on shore, new swell, but a good fun. That's my old. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go. Let's go. Yeah. Cool, let's do it. Craig and Elliot were keen to go surfing, and whilst there was a new swell in the forecast, it was quite heavily onshore and the waves were shapeless and very messy. I tried to push Elliot into his first wave, but he wiped out, and for his baptism, the board then whacked him in the head. <laughs> We went for a surf but they were very tricky conditions for beginners and whilst they enjoyed it, it would have been much more fun for them in better conditions. So this is young Elliot Davidson, just about ready to go to high school and a very important member of the Queen's Park Youth Academy, showing us his skills. Look at that, it's making it look easy. Right, hey, good to meet you man. Yeah, Good luck with your course, yeah, alright? Thank you. Need to get back out on it's it. It's nice to see you again, Good. skinny boy. Ah, <laughs> skinny boy. Ah, I'll, be, I'll be back. I'll oh, be back to my best. I'd... After almost seven weeks away, it was time to catch us in Mallow Portsmouth Ferry Home.
Here are a few pictures from the surfing part of the holiday, some great memories and all in all we covered nearly 3,900 miles.